In the previous video of this little series, we covered line trace single by channel. Now I want to move this over to line trace single by object type, and I promise this one will be a lot shorter. So long story short, the difference between the two is if we come into Unreal Engine and I click this cube, in the previous video, we were altering all these trace responses. So pretty much the collision responses are what dictated what got hit or picked up by the line trace. Now by object type, this guy, we come up a little bit, we see object type. Now we have world static, dynamic, pond, physics, body, vehicle, and destructible. So this is what is going to be used to filter from this way. So currently I have a basic line trace set up. I switched over to line trace single by object type. Now the only difference between this one and line trace single by channel is instead of it being start, then end, we and then the parameters or sorry, our F collision query params. Let me ignore ourselves again. We go to start and object params, which is the F collision object query params, and then the normal params. So what I mean by normal params is I always refer to it as just params out of habit because that's what I've always called it, but it's just the F collision query params. So you can see the differences right here. May have zoomed in a little too far. There we go. You can see the differences here. So again, they all return the exact same thing. If there's a blocking hit, you know, they can handle it. Now, here's the general point of view. So by default, I have it set out so when I line trace hit something, it should print it out. I press E on it. Let me actually compile real quick first. Alrighty, just to ignore myself, press E. We're hitting some things, so like we're hitting all these objects, we're hitting the floor, but we're not hitting our cube that we're trying to focus on, even though it's set to world static. So if I come over here and set world static to block, then we will hit the cube just like that. If I set it to ignore, but I set all the others to block, well, we're still going to be ignoring it. So you can kind of add and remove from this. So currently we have that set to just world static. Didn't really make all that big of a difference. But what we can do is go to object params, which is our F collision object query params. We scroll down a little bit. We have add object types to query. And these are our channels that we can add. So I'm going to go ahead and add E collision channel. And I'll add, let's do world dynamic. Let's go ahead and compile. Press E on it. Still nothing. Even though I'm set to blocking world dynamic, I set it to block world static. Still nothing. But if I change the object type to world dynamic, then it gets hit. So you can kind of see how it's controlled. So if I ignore it all again, just like so, it's still getting hit. Now, that might seem a little bit off, and that's related to it must be set as static still. So if I only set world dynamic to block, it'll hit. If I only set world static to block, it's still going to hit. Because if I recall correctly, the default for this as well is going to be world static. So I believe world static gets picked up by itself, like automatically. I change this back to world static and set everything to block. Nothing happens. So it's a little bit, I don't know what the word would be, kind of odd to tinker with. But over time, you'll kind of get in the habit of, okay, so I'm starting to understand it now. So I'm thinking it has to have one blocking, yep, that's why. Okay, I, I get it. So it has to have one blocking channel for it to hit. No, now it's working without any of them. That's kind of odd. Unless I overlooked something previously. But the object type is what dictates it. So, for example, let's go down to vehicle. So we'll set the collision channel to vehicle. And the same kind of deal is going to happen. 
sorry i like i very rarely use this so i hit it nothing happens set it to vehicle and now it gets picked up but if i try to hit anything else it doesn't so this is kind of what you could use as a base filter so i could see this being used for a couple different things not materials but kind of how it describes so we could have a object type so you would have a line trace that hits vehicles like cars you could create a custom one that only interacts with interactables so for example if we come over here to settings project settings go to engine collision and no it is not collision let's see let's search for object type okay i'm not 100 sure where it is let me find it real quick okay so i'm just being stupid i overlooked it but it is object channels so if i come over here to new object channel add a new one let's call it uh line trace object type default is block and hit accept and go ahead and save all click another object and click back to it so it refreshes we now have this other option down here under object responses we come over here to object type we have line trace object type so that can be our other type that we can use so just like with line trace single by channel when we added this custom channel we can do the same thing so let's go ahead and look see which one it is go to config open up default engine usually scroll down a little bit here we have line traced object type which is game trace channel 2 we add it for game trace channel 2. Now I can hit the cube because the cube is using our line trace object type slash game trace channel 2, even though it has no collision from anything else at all. Now that can give us a couple different options because we can have multiple of these. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll add a new one. So let's add another channel for, um, let's do destructible. We're going to add two of these. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this cube. Change the object type to destructible. Click the first one, we hit. Click the second one, we hit. So we now have two different types, but none of these are going to hit because it's only our specified types. So we have one that's destructible and one that's using our custom type, such as these two right here. Now there's other ones that you can kind of control with this. So if you wanted to hit everything, you would do, uh, what was it? F collision object query params, colon, colon, all objects. Now, if I recall correctly, this should make it so that everything gets a hit. So floor, cube, other stuff all this other crap i don't even know if this thing has a collision no it doesn't but everything gets hit so that's kind of the basics of line trace single by object type i didn't go quite as extensive as i did with the uh collision by channel because that's probably what i use i'd say 90 percent of the time but line trace single by object type as you saw has pretty good uses to it mostly in terms of you can filter by several. So instead of filtering by a specific trace channel, as you can see, line trace single by channel, one parameter is the collision channel. We can instead, using F collision object query params, add two, three, four, or however many we want. Well, with the exception of the limit being 18, we can add as many as we want and filter through specific types. So think of it like an array of collision channels that we can use to filter our items by. So that pretty much wraps up this video. Uh, in the next one, I'll try to cover profile. I've never used it before, so I'm going to have to look into it a little bit and see what all it entails. But that's going to be it for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below where I create Team Deathmatch from the ground up using C++ with Unreal Engine just for my patrons, covering a bunch of different features such as custom spawning, game over, scoreboards, weapon customization, and all that fun stuff. 
you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord. That's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, take care.